Hey, what is going on guys? This is ZK and welcome to a video where I'm going to show you guys how to put um, non-Call of Duty models into your map. Now, uh, this, this, this can be any models from any game really. I'm on TF3DM.com which is a great place to get models. Um, I just searched uh, Van in the search box and I got uh, all these results. Um, one of the things that I'd like to help you guys with is how to choose the model that you're going to put into the game because you're going to want one, you know, that's that's decently detailed um, if you can find it, of course. Um, and then you're going to want to try to get one that's from a game. So like this model over here is obviously not from a game, so you're not going to want that one. It's not going to have the correct setup um, in order to go into the game. You could possibly get it in there if you really worked hard in Maya, um, but it's really just not it's not going to be a big headache to try to do that so you're going to want to look for ones that have been in a game so like this one for example looks like it's been in a video game this one uh, this one this one I think we're actually going to go with this one because I like the guy who has this green background here that means it's from a game so yeah here he says it's um, from this game right here so you're going to want to try to get one uh, from a game that's you know my best advice to you guys um, let's see I think I already downloaded it before the video Possibly. Oh, well, that's fine. It can download right now. Um, once it's ready here, come on, bud. There we go. Go ahead and uh, open up the download of whatever model that you got. Um, now, this video, oops, hold on. This video is kind of meant to be more of a baseline of how to do it, not an exact this will work all the time method because it won't work all the time. Some models are just not going to work uh, very well um, in Call of Duty or trying to get them into the game. So go ahead and open up Maya. Um, you do have to have Maya for this, okay? Um, I have the 2014 um, thing. You can try to crack it. You can get a free one if you have a student ID, like a free uh, three-year educational license or something, which is what I did. So I have the full program um, for uh, but nothing, obviously. So go ahead and open up Maya, and then you can get the, sorry, the World at War plugin from UGX. There's a link to it there. Um, I'll try to include that in the description. All right. So go ahead and open up your model, and generally when you open up the model, it's going to be really small. Um, if you want to do a size comparison for it, I can show you how to do that very quickly. Just let me rotate this correctly. This is go this tutorial assumes you have a little bit of knowledge of Maya, but you can go ahead and just kind of watch what I do. Um, it's not it's not complicated at all to try to do this. So let's go to World at War, Bin, Maya, Rigs, Character, and we can import um, a character guy. So that's how big your character is going to be in the game. And as you can see, this is not even big enough to be worthy of being called an, an action figure vehicle um, in that scale. So let's go ahead and make it bigger. Oops, my bad. There we go. Ugh. Sorry, I'm embarrassing myself in this video. <laughs> okay, so that looks like about, nah, that's actually too big. Let's make it about like so. So now we've got our vehicle about the right size. We can go ahead and delete this guy from it because we obviously don't want him in it. There, so now we've got uh, the beginning of our model that we have got from TF3DM. Let's uh, go ahead and open up Window, render, Rendering Editors, and Hypershade. And, oh yeah, we gotta delete all of this garbage from uh, that character, okay. So let's take a look. We want to take a look at our two materials. Ignore Lambert, Particle, and the shader thing. Um, unless you're in Asset Manager and it tells you that you need to have this material, you can just randomly convert something. It doesn't matter. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I've already converted a long time ago, but I don't remember. So just ignore the Lambert unless Asset Manager is going to whine at you when you do convert this model. Okay, so let's take a look at our two materials. We have glass and we have just the regular. So. What we're going to do is we are going to rename this one to MTL car glass. Actually, no, we're going to do MTL van glass because we never know if we might import cars later. And we'll rename this one to MTL van. Um, maybe, yeah, just MTL van. Sure, we'll call it that. Um, so yeah, then we, we want to rename these materials, okay, because we have to convert these materials the same way we convert images. You know, if you want to put an image in Radiant, you have to convert these materials um, in Asset Manager the same way. So that's why we're doing it this way. We want to rename them as to um, names that we're going to remember and stuff. All right, so next thing we're going to want to do, since the whole thing's one piece, if, if you do get a model that's several different pieces, what you're going to want to do with that is you're going to want to select all of the pieces and then go to mesh and combine 
um, as long as you have the polygon set right here. Um, so then you can get the whole mesh as one piece. It has to be one piece unless you're converting an animated model with like bones and stuff, but we're not doing that, so it has to be one piece. All right, so go ahead and select your whole model. Go ahead and push uh, five on your keyboard, and it's actually gonna turn gray, like so actually you don't even have to select it. You can change this just by pushing uh, four, five, and six on your keyboard, but push five right now and it turns gray. Then you wanna select your mesh, go to color, and hit apply color, and it should turn white. If it doesn't, um, you're gonna to wanna to click this little box next to apply color and set the color to white. So you wanna make sure it's white, otherwise when you um, get in game, it, your model's not gonna have a texture on it, it's just gonna be a, a black shape. So we don't want that, obviously. So there we go. Now we have our model, it's all set to go. So go ahead and hit export X model. We're going to export to the desktop as, um, we're just gonna call it van doesn't matter what you call it. So hit, click on, uh, you're gonna wanna select everything. So the easiest way to do it is just to hit edit and then select all. So you get the whole thing selected and then export selected. So now it's gonna export the model to the desktop, which it just did. Yes. So there we've got our X model export. Open up your image editor, whatever you use. I use paint.net, go ahead and open it up. And then we're gonna wanna um, get those textures here. You can see we actually have three textures from the uh, model. And these can be uh, lots of different things. Um, I usually don't use any of them except for the first one and then I create my own specular map if I really want one. Um, what you guys are gonna wanna do is we're probably gonna wanna use these two. I'm guessing this is the spec map one and this is the regular one. So let's save this as MTL van to the desktop. And I'm gonna save it as a direct draw surface. And for these images, it's gonna be, you're gonna to have to just kind of use your brain when you're converting them and stuff um, as to know what they're for. So MTL van spec, and then direct draw surface. You don't have to name these the way I'm doing it, okay? It doesn't matter. Um, I'm just naming them that. So here we've got our three files for the model. Go to your root folder, go to raw and images and drop these images in there. MTL van, MTL van spec. Go to, oops, not mods. Um, you wanna go to model export. And under YouTube models, I uh, recorded a previous tutorial like many, many months ago um, that went up on a different channel, but that one is not up now. So we've got van.xmodel export. So actually I can probably just delete that, doesn't need, okay. So anyway, here's the L model that we exported from Maya. All right, so put that in there. Open up asset manager. Oh yeah, in the model export folder, you can create a new folder and name it whatever you want. Um, you know, my models, blah, 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 blah. You know, name it whatever you want, doesn't matter. And then drop your thing in there. Just remember where you put it. Open up the GDT that you use to convert things. Um, for me, it is uh, uh, custom models. Um, if you don't have one, just hit new up here and then name it whatever, you know, your custom models, da, da, da. Create a new entry under the X model, and we're just gonna call it, um, we're gonna call it um, van one. So this will be the name of your X model. So go ahead and open up um, under model export, find the model that you exported. Mine is van.x model, so I've got it right there. And um, set the collision to high so that, you know, bullets bounce off of it and grenades bounce off of it and things like that. All right, so now we're going to go to um, here and we're just going to do a new entry under material and this is where we start doing our material so MTL van that was the one we'll go ahead and open up MTL van as the color map that's the main image that you're using um, we want this to be none uh, oh no surface type yeah we do want that metal as the surface type okay and um, world fong no 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 we want it to be model fong there you are so model fong and metal make sure you set those all right and under specular map, we have the other image that I made, which I'm assuming is a spec image. We'll go ahead and add that, and then we'll convert our material. <laughs> and now I believe we do have another one called van glass. Now anytime you have a vehicle that has glass on it, if you want the glass to be like, you know, um, what do you call it? Uh, like see-through transparent there we go couldn't think of the word if you want it to be transparent you have to set the blend function to blend 
So let's copy this material exactly and call it Van Glass because it only gave us one image. So I'm pretty sure that the glass here, yeah, it's the same thing, I believe. Van, yeah, this is Van Glass, I think. Yeah, so what we're gonna do then, we copy the material exactly, call it Van Glass, and then we just set the texture to blend, and then we convert it. Do, 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 do. And then blend means that the glass will be like transparent. And the reason why I'm doing the materials exactly the same is because the van, the, they only gave us one, one image basically, and that's got the glass and all the textures of the vehicle built into one. But the material is applied to different meshes in Maya, so that would be why we're doing it the way that we're doing it. I realize it may be a little bit um, like confusing to some of you who are new to this, but just trust me on this. That's basically what you're going to want to do. So now that we have that done, we have you have to convert the materials first. Now we can convert our X model. So let's go ahead and convert it. And depending on the size of the model, it may take a little while. If it takes longer than 30 seconds, then you've got a problem, okay? And it may just run in an infinite loop, which would be really annoying. All right, so here's our van. And oops, I did it backwards. My apologies, guys. Um, let's go to material. And where's our Malibu van glass? What I did actually, I think I noticed this before, was I actually did the materials backwards in my, uh, so we're going to set this one to blend. Yeah, the van is applied to the body and the glass, or the, the glass is applied to the body and the van is applied to the glass. So, okay, let this be a lesson to you guys. Don't mess up when you're naming the, the uh, oh, what do you call them? The materials in Maya. So make sure that you have those correct. That was just my bad. Oops, wrong van. There we go. So now the van looks the way that it's supposed to. And as you can see, their blend texture on the window is set correctly. So you can see through it. You can see inside and see the seats um, on the inside of the van. Obviously not all that detailed, but you know. So there we go. We've got our van in um, our game, but the true test does it work in game. So let's go and we will add the model to, um, I'm just gonna add it to the expo map because this is kind of like my test map for different things on um, Malibu Drive. So go to MISC model, a script model will work too, of course, and we'll get van one and we'll grab you and pop you in. And there we go, we've got our van. Boom, and there you go, you've got the van. You can edit it, you can change it, whatever you wanna do. So we'll go ahead and save that. And our last step in this model is you wanna go back to raw images. Where are you? Raw images. And you wanna get your two images that you used for the van, or if you use more, whatever, not the two that you pasted in, the two converted .iwi images. You'll notice that the spec image has changed name, so just be aware of that. It's gonna give it a random name like that. So just kind of watch for that. And then we'll go to Nazi Zombie Expo. Oops, not that. Images. And paste them in here, like so. So then we'll go to our Expo file. And we want to find those two images here, eventually. There it is, MTL Van, and the random name one. If you're going to use your converted model in a script, you're going to want to include it here, X model Van 1. If you're just going to use it in Radiant as just a model that's sitting in your world, you can just ignore that, but I'm putting that in there just for people who know X model van one. Okay. So then go ahead and build your mod and compile your map. And I'll be right back as soon as I've done both of those. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back in the game. And as you can see, the model is in here. It's got the spec maps image. So it's kind of got a nice little shine to it. Uh, it doesn't look quite right, obviously, because I don't have, you know, decent lights in this map at the moment. But yeah, you shoot at it, it's uh, sparks and stuff. Um, you can walk through it, obviously, because you need to clip it. So just put a clip around it or whatever you guys do um, for that in your, uh, in your map. So yeah, there it is. That is how you put in a custom model into your map. All right, guys, I wanted to come back really quickly just to explain. Um, I hope I didn't confuse any of you guys when I talked about switching the materials when it converted and the materials looked weird. The problem was is that, as you can see here, the one that I, the material that I named MTL Van is actually the glass. 
and the material that I named the van glass is actually the van. Okay, so I just I re I named them backwards in Maya, so I had to name them backwards in Asset Manager in order to get the materials to work correctly with the blend and the replace function. So just so you guys know, just make sure that you name them correctly. That the the van texture is named the van, and the glass texture is named the glass, so you don't get them mixed up. Otherwise, it's going to look really weird, um, just like it did a little bit ago. So thank you guys very much for watching. That has been my tutorial, or not really tutorial, but more of a guide on how to put in custom models into your map. You, I'm, I'll guarantee you if you start doing this a bunch, it's not going to be this easy. It's not going to go smoothly. Um, there's going to be some bumps in the road. If you have questions, put them on customzombies.com. I'll be happy to try to answer them for you. Um, and so are the other guys that are there too. Um, there's some great guys that know what they're doing over there. So go ahead and do that. Um, and yeah, if you have uh, suggestions for uh, future tutorials, go ahead and put them in the description, or in the description, in the comments section. I'll be happy to look at them and I'll try to do them as soon as I can. I'm heading off to Disney World tomorrow, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And I'll be there for a week and after that I'll be back to do some more videos. So thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you on my next video. This is ZK, signing off.